Hey guys, Morgan here doing a triple champions of Kamigawa draft for seemsgoodmagic.com. I am going to take you through and kind of show you my approach to the format, which is pretty heavily synergy based. So uh, get excited and we'll, I'll see you when the draft fires. Okie dokie, guess we get to read some, read some cards. Um, what does this card do? At the beginning of your, of the end step, if Kitsune Mystic has two or more auras on it, flip it, and it becomes a 2-3 still? No, 4-5. Attach or, or attach to a creature to another creature. I don't think that's exactly the direction I want to be going. Sensei's Dividing Top is worth like a dollar right now, and it's probably worth more than that right now. Um, Sortami Mirror Mage is probably fine, but I'm not really interested in it. It at three mana to return three lands you control to their owner's hand to return to your creature to its owner's hand. Um, I like playing Zubera's. Consuming Vortex is probably my pick here. Return target creature to its owner's hand is a pretty powerful effect, and you can basically buy it back by casting a, an arcane spell, such as this Reach Through the Mists and splicing onto it. Um, so I really like that. Order of the Sacred Bell is just a big creature for its. like, for its cost. And Kabuto Moth does some pretty good stuff too. We could do it. Um, Dampen Thought is an archetype in this format. Uh, target player puts the top four cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard and it's an arcane spell that you can splice onto arcane. So uh, yeah, I think I take that. There's also an Eye of Knower which is an arcane spell that you can uh, return target permanent to its owner's hand, and you can splice things like Dampen Thought or Consuming Vortex onto it. So, yeah, we'll take the Dampen Thought here. Whenever one or more creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, tap all lands that player controls and untap all lands you control. Hmm. Uh... I think I take Petals of Insight here. Petals of Insight is an arcane spell. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may put those cards on the bottom of your library in any order. If you do, return Petals of Insight to its owner's hand, otherwise draw three cards. Um, so it's a pretty reasonable like card at its face value. It's five mana for a draw three, but you also have the option of just bottoming and doing it again. This is especially good with things like Dampen Thought because for seven mana you just Dampen Thought and look at the top three cards of your library and you can get Petals of Insight back. Uh, Jade Idol also seems like it would be pretty good in the Dampen Thought deck in that it is uh, just a 4-4 four, four for 4 basically most of the time. There's another Reach Through the Mists here. Um, nope. No nothing else interesting. So here we have two good options for us in blue. There's Mystic Restraints, which is a 4 mana enchantment similar to Claustrophobia, except for it has Flash and it costs 1 more mana. When it enters the battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature, and Enchanted Creature doesn't untap targets control it. Unstap tap, untap step. We also have Sift Through the Sand. Thru, sift Through Sands, I can talk. <laughs> sift Through Sands, draw 2 cards, then discard 2 cards, and it's arcane. The rest of the text is a little bit more like flavor text. If you cast a spell named Pure Through Depths and a spell named Reach Through Mist this turn, you may search your library for a card named The Unspeakable, put it onto the battlefield, and shuffle your library. I think I'm going to take Mystic Restraints. It's removal, which I think the Dampen Thought deck needs, although Sift Through Sands is certainly something that you want. Heartbeat of Spring is pretty cool. Uh, whenever a player, a player taps a land for mana, that player adds one or mana of his or her mana pool of any type that land produced, so it doubles your mana, but it also doubles your opponent's mana, which is probably less good. Um, here we have Soratami Cloud Skater, which uh, is a 1-1 one, one flyer for 1 with flying, uh, with flying, obviously. Uh, you can pay 2 to return the land you control to its owner's hand, then draw a card and discard a card. That's pretty good. There's also uh, Lifted by Clouds, which is just, you know, an arcane spell. There is... Blessed Breath, target creature you control against protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. It's particularly good against decks like this, because if you give it a creature protection from a spell with a single target, and your opponents like, splice some arcane spells onto it, uh, they won't be able to get past it. Everfist Zubera is pretty sweet too. Um, 
I think I just want the Sorotami Cloud Skater. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna stick to blue for now. Um, what does this card do? Uh, what it deals damage to blocking creature, deals damage to damage to each other creature. That seems pretty neat. I don't know if that's very good though. Like, I think we want this crushing pain more than we want the Kusorigama. Also, I think Kusorigama is bugged. Uh, there's also tar counter target spirit or arcane spell. Whenever you cast a spirit or arcane spell, Kami of the Painted Road gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn, but I'm gonna take the one that most closely looks like removal. <laughs> um. Not really interested in crappy fixing or a six mana three three or yeah no uh council of the Sortami, however is pretty sweet when your goal is to reach a critical mass of arcane spells um here i'm fairly happy with the three one flyer for four that can occasionally be relevant otherwise there's also a pull under which is instant speed removal which is nice but a little expensive. I'd rather just take the 3-1 flyer. I'm not really interested in the Sortami Mirror Mage. I think I just take the Zubera. Like, the Mirror Mage could be good, but I think I just want the Zubera, and when it dies, target opponent discards a card for each Zubera that died this turn. Uh, the thing about this card is that um, There, in blue, like, it's usually spirit or arc whenever you cast a spirit or arcane. Um, so it's somewhat relevant even in the blue deck. I'm going to take the Cruel Deceiver over a uh, Lava Spike. You, it can gain Death Touch occasionally, but it's mostly just a 2-1. Uh, as long as you control a demon, no. I'll just take the Jade Idol. That's actually a pretty good wheel for us. I'll take a lifted by clouds and put it in my sideboard. No, that's a four drop. Never mind. And this death curse ogre wield. Sweet. So we have a couple of options on what we can do in this deck, which is pretty cool. Uh, we are looking to grab more. Well, hopefully another dampen thought. Um, and then things like Reach Through Mists, which is a one mana instant speed draw card, Arcane. Let's see. There's another Mystic Restraints in this deck. There's also Aki Lava Runner, which is a four mana haste when it deals combat damage to an opponent. Flip it. If I was playing green, I might be interested in Haunted of Life's Web as a way to kind of build up enough chump blockers to allow the Dampen Thought uh, plan to take hold, but so far I'm only blue. I like taking mis another Mystic Restraints. Frost Wielder is also really good, but I think Mystic Restraints is just fine in this deck. How many Mystic Restraints is too many, do you think? There's also a Shizo. Hanabi Blast is kind of cool, but um, I don't think it's what we want in this deck. I think I just want to set a third Mystic Restraints. We're never, we're never losing to creatures. Um, so we have Drink You Bell. Was that as a barrier of here? Hmm, not quite. There's a Sortami Rain Shaper, which is a two two. 2-1 flyer for 3, and you can return a land you control to its owner's hand to give target creature you control shroud until end of turn. There's also a an Eye of Nowhere, which I think I'm going to take because it's another arcane spell. And I really want those to maintain some amount of tempo. Um, so there's a Hideous Laughter here, which is a pretty sweet spell. It's uh, 4 mana for an instant arcane. 
All creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn, and you can splice it for five, which is pretty good. There's also a Rochi Sustainer, which is fine, but we're not in green right now. Um, there's also a Befoul, which I, might actually be worth taking over the Hideous Laughter, even though Hideous Laughter is um, a sweeper. Well, no, I have three copies of Mystic Restraints, which is basically a Befell. So I think I'm just going to take the Hideous Laughter, because it's arcane. We can metagame really hard. I think I'm just going to take a second Petals of Insight, although I wouldn't mind a Cruel Deceiver or a Desperate Ritual either. This deck is sweet, you guys. So we have exile target creature that dealt damage to you this turn. That actually seems pretty good. Uh, Hisoka's Defiance, Kami of Fire's Roar. Um, I think I just take this Reciprocate because I might actually run it. Um, I'm not, not playing the new My Outcast. With a deck like this, where my spells are just so good. I can be a little bit pickier about my uh, creatures, I think. So here, I could take River Kaijin, which I'll probably just play, guaranteed. There's also Pain Racker Oni, which goes w with a completely different plan. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature if you don't control an ogre, which is not great. In a deck that really doesn't have a lot of creatures to go around. Um, Orb Weaver Kumo is actually really good against me and, you know, for me. But I think I just take the River Kaijin because I have like so many removal spells on four that I just want a three drop. When it enters the battlefield, choose a color word. All instances of color words are uh, in the text of spells and permanents are changed to the chosen color word. Yeah, no. I think I just take the Saratami Rain Shaper, although it could be Kami of Twister Deflection. Probably not. I'm just gonna take the 2 1 flyer. <laughs> flyer beatdowns might get there once in a while. I have the Mirror Guard, the Rain Shaper, the Cloud Skater. I think I take this 100 talent Kami. Um, I might actually end up playing white if I get more of like the white flyers. Because this card actually seems pretty good in a stall deck like mine is. And this card doesn't seem bad to me. Like that's, that's the thing. Although my black is pretty strong. By that I mean I've got, you know, two drops, <laughs> which is fine. Um, I'm just gonna put this 6-6 six, six, Soul Shift 7 in my sideboard. Um, I guess if I'm thinking of playing white, I'll take- uh, that, that card isn't even very good! Uh, I, I'll take it still, but like, that's not very good in this deck. Regenerate target creature. Interesting. I'm gonna take this Kitsune Rift Walker, because it's really good against my deck. Desperate Ritual, sure. Red is now an option again, we can combo out. Uh, I'll take a Hisoka's Defiance and a Cruel Deceiver. Sure. Why not? The tether seems really good actually in this format. Um, for each spear, turn it to its owner's hand unless it's controller. 
pays three. Guardian of Solitude also seems very good. Whenever you cast a spirit or arcane spell, target creature gains flying until end of turn. Mm. No. There's another Befoul. I could just take that. Otherwise, there's a Kitsune Blade Master, which I could also take. Or a Floating Dream Zubera. Targets permanent, par target permanence controller sacrifices it. If they do, that player reveals cards from the top of their library until he or she reveals a permanent card that shares a type with it. <sighs> um, well. I probably just want, like, actually I want Floating Dreams of Barra. It's not it's nice and non-committal. Here, I think I just take the peer through depths. I haven't seen any of these yet, and I think it's pretty important to dig for things like petals of insight and damp and thought. Um, Reach through the mist is also pretty good. I've been very impressed by Honden of Night's Reach, but it's also probably just my pet card. Um, Thief of Hope also seems pretty sweet, but I think I just want this peer through depths. Also, it will help me find things like Consuming Vortex, which are pretty important. I wonder if Ghostly Prison is good enough in the Dampened Thought deck that I want to take it. Because there's another Befal in this pack and another River Kajin, plus a Psychic Puppetry. And I could take any one of those. Just have infinite removal. I guess the question is is Reciprocate and 100 Talon Kami better than all of my black cards? And also a Ghostly Prison. I don't think so. I think I just take the Befowl. Ah! Got one. Tap on tap creature. Hmm. Maybe we can wield that. Uh, Teller of Tales is also very good, but if I'm playing the Dampen Thought deck, I kind of have to take this Dampen Thought. Um. I think I take Eerie Procession here. Uh, search your library for an arcane card, reveal a card, put it in your hand. What does this card do? Sacrifice the spirit, target for rooms. Soul Shift. Pretty good. Oh, that guy's got flying too? Jeez. But yeah, I'm gonna take that card. Um. Exile target, instant or sorcery, well, target two. You cast a card. A card. Hmm. I'm not really interested in paying for a six mana counter spell. I will take a waking nightmare, which is arcane, so you can splice stuff onto it. <clears throat> hmm. What do I have for Soulless Revival? Zuberas? Okay, yeah, that's worth it. I think I take the Water Bale Cavern here. It's not a very good mana fixer, but it is a mana fixer. I could also see taking Graceful Adept, but I do have a River Kaijin already, so I think I just want the Water Bale Cavern. Hmm. This guy wheeled. I I did not expect that, actually. Ace Laughter is probably a sideboard card. This guy seems a lot better than that. Than yeah, I'm not worried about Serpent Skin. What am I talking about? Alright, so... Zubera... 
flower and greed can go on the sideboard, although it's not bugged anymore. So feel free to draft the devour and greed deck. You can see that diviner goes over here. Fell goes right there. Deck looks perfect. Don't know what we could do wrong. How many arcane did we get? A lot less than I'd like, I think. But I think Petals of Insight will do a lot of work for us. So we can't really dampen thought without splicing it onto something else. Um, so I think. I think the combo right now is our double petals of insight with double damp thought. So we're not really going to cash in petals of insight a lot because we need to <laughs> repeatedly splice damp and thought onto it. Yeah, I think this deck is sweet. <laughs> um, if we wanted to go really deep, what we could do... Oh wait, I didn't take the Lifted by Clouds, never mind. Because we've got like four black spells, right? Yeah, we'll be fine. I mean, Guardian of Solitude isn't the greatest in this deck, I suppose. Oh wait, we do have two Lifted by Clouds. So I can play like Lifted by Clouds instead of Ashen Skin Zubarrows and Befell. What do I take over the other Befells? It's probably good. Lots of basics. I think nine six is fine. We've got all well, ten six. We've got the Water Veil Cavern, so it's basically ten seven. And we'll submit. <laughs>